We want to provide you with a quick demonstration of how to attach the soft plastic to the echo tail. And it starts off by, uh, you know, first choosing the, the correct size plastic. Right here we have an 8 inch grub tail that we're going to connect to this 4 ounce uh, Magnum echo tail. And what I like to do is start off by kind of trimming back the soft plastic here. And uh, what that does is it creates this flat surface. Now the key here is to line the, the bait and, and you know you want to center this, this bait up onto this barbed tail as much as possible. And all you do is just stick it in there and you want to push it on so that that, so that, that plastic sits up real nice and flush against the body. And the next thing that I'll do is I'll take this back hook and just stick it up underneath the soft plastic. And what that does is a couple things. It prevents these two hooks from getting tangled and it also just adds a little, a little extra security to hold that soft plastic on. So that's, that's, how you, that's how you attach the soft plastic. And you know, my recommendation is go out and experiment a lot of different plastics out on the market to experiment with and find out you know, what works on your home body of water. Real quick, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the equipment to use with the echo tails. I'd like to start off by using uh, braided line, uh, which is real sensitive. It's no stretch and you can really, you know, you can feel that bait working and you can detect strikes much easier with the braided line. Um, you know, the other thing uh, that I recommend is to use a snap. You do not want to connect, you do not want to tie directly to these towing holes because eventually your line will wear out and you're going to lose a fish and, and, your, and your lure. Um, so I recommend using just a, just a straight snap here uh, without a barrel swivel is, is, is the way that I like to set this bait up.